Hello, people, and uh, welcome back. I got a little more uh, work done on the um, Simray uh, racing wheel shift lights, and um, I got an idea from a Dutch friend called Marcel, who said that if he could just get the program with um, with some lights inside the program itself. Uh, he would use this for his uh, computer and have it running on top of his uh, GTR2. So I thought, well, let's do that. Let's emulate the lights in the wheel in the program. So you'll see that in a bit. I also made it save um, the different setups for start RPMs, shift RPMs, uh, different keys, all the different gear uh, settings uh, for each car on each track. So if you load, say, like I did here, an Audi R8 GT3 LMS on Spa, it will start showing up your default uh, settings, and then if you change these, they will be saved to this car, to this track. So that's actually a huge improvement, so you don't have to always, every time you load, you have to change, and when you load a new car, you have to set it again. You don't anymore. And now there's also a night mode, because we just did a 12-hour uh, Sebring race, and it was actually quite annoying with all the blue lights shining in your face when all the lights dimmed down to see uh, to see the track properly. And we got that working too. So now let's take it for, um, for a quick spin. As you see, it's now always on top, so it's the program's right, right here. Um, and I want to go and uh, load this setup for my Audi R8 that we just won the Sebring race with. And let's take it for a spin on track. First, let's activate the pit limit, the pit speed limit. As you can see now, it's flicking all the lights. If I turn on night mode, it'll be this kind of running lights instead that doesn't bother your night vision as much. But for now, let's run it in day mode and mode 1, then let's turn off the limiter and try to give it some revs and see what happens. You know, this is pretty much the standard. Then let's go to night mode and let's see what happens then. We have single diode and then when you need shift, all every second diode will be blinking. Alright, let's turn night mode off again. Go to mode 2. And let's see what happens then. Standard mode 2, all blue lights come on at once, and then for shifting, all lights blinking. Let's turn to night mode, one diode, and then every other blue diode blinking when you need to shift. Day mode, night mode, yeah. Let's go to mode 3, the block mode, where red block first, green block, then blue block. I don't know if you can guess what happens when we go to night mode here. Only half the diodes are lighting up. So, you can use that as you want. Uh, the key to set which key trig triggers night mode, this is set up to listen to keyboard keys. And you can change the key here, so if I want it to be G, I can press in G, and then go back to the sim, and now it changes night mode when I press G. So the way I have this set up is I run uh, a, a key mapping tool and then map keys on my wheel for for changing these things. Of course the center knobs are always listening. So this is always shift unless you turn it off. Then it's the minimum refs that it's adjusting. So that's pretty much it. The new version is uh, available for download for all the guys that already bought uh, the program, same link. And for you other guys, you should go to team.dgtl.dk, that is team as in uh, racing team, no W's ahead of that, it's just team.dgtl.dk, and you'll find uh, a link to the program there. Have fun guys!